Hello, and thanks for attending this very short webinar. I'm Tequila Daughter, and I wanted to really do this particular session because a lot of individuals, when doing their about page, they they it looks great. However, they're leaving particular items off the page that should be there in order for you to let your audience know exactly what you do, exactly who you are, and to also generate some income. So without further ado, uh, again, thanks for attending. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let me share my screen here. I'm actually going to do my desktop, so then it's better for me. All right, so let me get this into play mode, as you can see here. All right, perfect. So your about page, and we're going to actually do some reviews of individuals' pages, but we want to make sure that our about page or site, because you can actually just have an about site, um, that it goes from lacking that luster to blockbuster. So without further ado, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, again, Tequila, I've held a lot of positions within the, the corporate world that's involved marketing and I've transferred a lot of those skills over to online. I've also helped corporations run their marketing, build their companies, train their new hires, and increase their revenue. So I thought, why not do the same thing online? Now, it was not always rainbows and butterflies. It took some time for me to get there. And that is why um, I started the Standout BU Society, um, was to help individuals that were once in the workforce or still in the workforce or within corporate America, as I was, transition some of those skills to online. Um, and primarily, my business is Socially Standout, where I help entrepreneurs stand out and uh, increase their revenue online, but primarily giving them back time so they can run the business. I take care of the social media operations. So what I do essentially is I help guide individuals in the right direction to position their skills, make an impact, and then profit from that. Why do I do all this? Here's my why, and you should always have a why as to whatever you do. And my why is my family. I, I love traveling uh, with them, as you can see. Um, this is us in Hong Kong. We've been in Greece. We've been in um, Japan. We've been Paris. And we love to just jet set and go to a different country. And we've been doing that since my son was three years of age. Every Christmas, we, uh, we go to a different country so that we expose our children to uh, other individuals, their cultures, other children, so forth and so on. And all of this started when uh, this one girl that you can see right there on the side fell in love with this guy that's in the middle and we had our family. Now, a little bit more about me. I am adventurous. <laughs> if you know me or if you're, you're getting to know me and you will get to know me more, um, you'll know that I like to really challenge myself to live outside the zone and I feel that Others should do that too. If you can't go completely out the zone, at least go close to it. So, you know, open yourself up to adventure um, because that's what life's about is, is, is living outside that zone a little bit and being a little adventurous because when we do that, we tend to learn more. So what I want you to do for me, I want you to, and I know it's hard because we have lots of distractions, but I want you to unplug. I want you to take some time out for yourself to really dive into listening to what we're gonna review and talk about today. So turn off all your phones, turn off your Skype. I will try not to let my pup bark in the background or anything like that to distract you, but close all your browsers, your applications, turn off your email, take out pen and paper and take some notes. So do you currently have an about page or a site? And are you currently happy with it or does it gather the leads and generate the income that you would like for it to have? So if you're looking to create a blockbuster site and you're looking to get those leads and generate some income but you don't know how to do it just yet or you haven't yet set it up or you're feeling a little bit stuck, you're here in the right place. 
So if you're here too, because you're jazzed <laughs> to revamp your page and you want some guidance or you need some help um, with really what works and what doesn't work, then again, you know, you're within the Standout BU community and also with myself, you're in the right place. So think of this. Having people to visit your site, then clicking on your opt-ins to become your subscriber. Then generating those leads from a one-time setup and then turning those leads into loyal followers and raving fans. Having those fans then buy what you have to offer or sign up for your courses or sign up for your coaching. That is what it's all about, is having that about page with the right type of items on that page so that you can turn around and generate those leads, have them become raving fans, build a relationship, and then offer your services. How's that sound? So let's talk about the eight important parts of building a blockbuster um, about site or page. You want to make sure that you show your personality, absolutely. You want to make sure that you tell your story. If your story is important. You want to make sure that you have pictures there. Pictures are worth a thousand words. And you want to make sure that outside of pictures that you do a video. And I know I've been there. Getting on video can be a little bit, you know, mind boggling, but videos really help capture your personality and people tend to um, really um, be, become more attracted to you when you have those videos out there. Opt-in forms, you should have contact information, of course, if they're looking at you, you wanna make sure they know how to contact you. Um, and then links to other pages uh, within the site if you have a full-blown uh, website. And then you also want to promote yourself and promote your product. And uh, I created an eight tips to a standout about page or site, and you should have been able to download that if I emailed it to you on my email list, or if, I, uh, if you're inside of the Standout BU Society, you're able to download it inside of there. So all of these, again, were highlighted on the cheat sheet. You can download it inside the Standout BU Society Facebook group. So again, you just look there, Standout BU Society, type it inside of Facebook in the search, and it will pop up for you. So now let's look at some examples. And I, I went ahead and pulled some examples from some of my individuals that I like to see if their pages. So let me pull that up. Here's Caitlin. Um, she's, uh, I'm a part of the community there and, and it's really good with learning more about groups and, and so forth and so on. So here is her about page. So she starts it in with the hey, <laughs> which I love. And um, she's very personable, like, like with saying, you know, it's awkward because it's an awkward thing to uh, really talk about yourself. But where you see like the eight points that we were talking about, she has it hidden more within, um, within the, the lines itself where you could click on the links. So she has like the text links that are there, which is really nice because then, you know, individuals when they're reading along, they actually click on those text links and then it will lead to wherever she's wanting them to go. And um, she's leading them to a lead magnet that she has in regards to Facebook groups. This one is uh, with Pat Flynn. So again, he's very personable here. He has a picture of his family, let you know a little bit about him. Then he goes into, again, talking about what he has to offer for his audience. And here's one of his books. I'm not sure if you've read his bestseller. It's a really good book. Um, but he goes into talking about, you know, his childhood, about him. And, and what I love about his page is he goes into talking about goals that he has. So he makes it very personal. And, and people are drawn to personal. Um, people like to connect to people. So that's very important. And here's Amy Porterfield, which uh, she speaks with to, more to entrepreneurs and, and, and she really is really good with teaching webinars, so forth and so on. Um, but right off the bat, she has a, a here I am and then let's get started. Um, so again, it's good to just direct and let your audience know what to do when they fall on your about page. And as you can see, she also has different products, so forth and so on, that you can sign up and uh, get started with her. So let me get back to the slide presentation here. So as you saw those examples, what are the benefits? Your audience gets to know you, 
you get to tell the audience what you can do for them. You can build your email list. You can then nurture that email list, and then you can offer them your products and your services. And it's very important because once they've opted in, they gave you the permission to be able to now speak to them on your level and let them know what it is that you do and what you have to offer. They raise their hand. <laughs> so what does your page look like? Um, so does anyone want to step up and post your site inside of the chat here so that we can pull it up and look at it? And if you don't, that's okay because I know that Sometimes we can be a little hesitant or a little shy from that. So if you don't, what I'll do is I will pull mine up. So let's see here. If you look at my page, you can see I start out, again, I had mentioned earlier, I love to travel. So I started out with putting all the different hellos from all the different places that I've traveled to um, in order to welcome individuals. And then I go into just speaking a little bit about myself, and then I go into offering uh, my planner of the month. So every month I rotate a planner out. And then I let them know about who's behind all this, what's going on, and this is from my previous pages. And then I go into just speaking a little bit more of what I do for individuals and how I help individuals, and I go into speaking about the Standout BU Society to come in and join. And testimonials. Oh, I know we didn't put that down, but testimonials are really, really good. Um, if you have any videos, perfect. But if you have testimonials, go ahead and put those on there as well. And then I end it with like letting them or leading them back into other parts of my website. All right, so let's get back here. So let's recap all of this. Even though the title says about me, your about page isn't primarily about you. <laughs> it's about your audience and how you can help them. So what does your ideal audience want from your about site or want from you? What do you want them to know about you and what you have to offer or how you can help them? That is essentially what your about site or about page should be about. Now, if you don't really know your ideal audience, we were talking about this in the Stand Up BU Society. So hop in, join this society, and, um, and connect with me, and we can speak more about your ideal audience. Because with working with clients, I've learned that this can be one of the hardest things is to figure out and really nail who your ideal client is and who your audience is. So what do you need to do next? It's easy. You want to download the cheat sheet and doll up your page. Make sure you blockbuster it up. And if you don't want to do it yourself, you can contact me because that's what I do. I help individuals stand out bright <laughs> online. And if you do not have the right systems, primarily your email, very important, the email system in place, then make sure that you sign up for the next email challenge. I'm going to be putting that inside the Stand Up BU Society um, group. But also, you can go to tequiladotter.com, build my list, uh, forward slash build my list, and um, you can sign up for the next email challenge so that we go through how to set all of that up. So now, what do you do? You want to go into the Standout BU Society and post your about site page or a link to that page so that individuals in the group know more about you and that we see what you have to offer. So thank you for attending uh, the About Page review and changing your About Page or site from Lacking Luster to now Blockbuster. And if you have any questions, you know you can always reach out to me and you can always find me inside of the Standout BU uh, Society or somewhere on the internet. So thanks again for coming out, and we will talk to you next time.